Bush said he is, quote, for traditional marriage, but that he has, quote, no hatred or bitterness in his heart for people who have a different view. Let's talk about it with professor and CNN political commentator Mark Lamont Hill, also with us, Republican strategist Lisa Booth. Guys, thanks for being here. Lisa, let me begin with you. Hi, Poppy. Do, hi. Do you think we're seeing a bit of a change, a shift in some of the GOP, you know, potential candidates? Maybe backing away a little bit from taking a hard line on some of these social issues, especially same sex marriage. Well, I think they're just expressing their viewpoint. I think what we saw from the New Hampshire summit is there's a lot of excitement from Republicans right now. You know, it's a very fluid primary. And in a state like New Hampshire, it's anyone's game. But I think one of the biggest takeaways from the weekend is, you know, some of the Republicans contrasting themselves from Hillary Clinton. You know, how would they be different as a candidate than Hillary Clinton would? And one of those issues, quite frankly, is income and inequality. You've got someone like Scott Walker, who was highlighting his humble beginnings, talking about, you know, the suit from Joseph A. Bank he got from a 341 sale. You've got someone like Marco Rubio talking about the fact that, you know, his parents uh, were immigrants that came to this country. You know, his father was a bartender. His, uh, his mother was a, uh, you know, housekeeper. And contrasting that with this sense of entitlement that we get from Hillary Clinton and, quite frankly, someone but, uh, but who's Lisa, very out of on touch the with issue, the average on, But what if, I wanted to hear from you on this issue, on this issue of same-sex marriage and these real hot-button social issues. Do you see a shift in these candidates then from the last time around in terms of maybe not taking such a hard line and maybe making the calculus that the social issues is not what this election is going to be won or lost on? Well, I think what the election is going to be won or lost on is the economy and is these, you know, kitchen table issues that Americans sit around the dinner table talking about every night. You know, and I don't think that I think yeah, all the candidates have done some... is express their yeah. viewpoint on the issue. And it's, it's consistent with what they have said on same sex marriage throughout their careers. Mark, take a look at these poll numbers. Uh, the latest CNN ORC poll conducted in February, what it shows is 63% of Americans say that gays and lesbians have a constitutional right to marry and have their marriages recognized by law as valid. That is up uh, from 49% in August of 2010. Do you think the candidates in both yeah. parties are looking at these numbers and reacting? Oh, they absolutely are. I think for a long time, Democrats were in favor of same-sex marriage, but couldn't be honest about it because they were doing political, cal uh, political calculus and said it's not wise to. Republicans uh, essentially have been trying to do the same thing. Right now, they're attempting to move a little bit closer to the center on this issue because they don't want to be left behind. I mean, kitchen table issues matter, you're right, but oftentimes now it's two men or two women at the kitchen table together, and you can't alienate gay Republican voters. You can't alienate people who, for whom this isn't their central issue, but they're not going to vote against, they're not going to vote for someone who doesn't represent their interests or their marriages or their relationships or who they love. So Republicans have to be much more careful about this. And the other thing Republicans have to be careful about in New Hampshire with regard to your question, Poppy, is they can't move too far to the right and try to out-Republican each other, as we saw mm. in 2008. You can't, you can't have a Rick Santorum drag everybody to the right and then you get into a general which is what Mitt Romney had to do and he was so bloodied from the primary that now when he's going against Barack Obama it, 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 he looks disingenuous to slide back to the middle so I think this is a challenge they're going to have right now especially when there's so many people who are so qualified and so willing to run for office guys thanks very much we're going to continue this discussion I wish we had a whole lot more time thank you both I appreciate